Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and well, this is technically a Amazon review, uh, but as I've told you before, I will let you know when, uh, when things are a little different and that is a little different this time uh, because uh, I was contacted by a company and uh, they wanted me to review their products and so they sent them to me to uh, take a look at. So uh, these products are not ones that I purchased directly, they were given to me. Uh, and so we're gonna take a look at them and uh, see basically how they do and uh, what, their, uh, what their capabilities are. And as you can see, there is their little emblem. This is uh, Cycle Torch uh, is the name of the company. And we have two uh, bicycle lights basically. Uh, you may have seen some of the previous videos. They happened to like those and wanted me to show you guys these ones here. So they have two different ones. We're going to go ahead and open them up uh, and uh, take a look at uh, these two different styles. All right, everybody. So here we go. We've got both lights out. As you can see, this is everything that came in the box. And uh, well, obviously, we have two of them. This one right here, the smaller the smaller looking one is called the Night Owl. And then you have this longer looking one, uh, a little more, little more cylindrical, is called the Shark 500. And uh, as you can see, they both come with very similar, uh, similar stuff. Um, the basic box shows you what it looks like on the side of the box there. Has uh, Cycle Torch's name on the bottom there. So. This is their, uh, obviously, their retail packaging and everything looks, looks pretty nice. Uh, nothing over the top or anything gives you what you need in terms of letting you know what's in the box. Uh, and then you have, uh, well, their little thank you card and their thing on the back there. Uh, if you have any issues or anything, they have an email for you to get a hold of. And then inside there is... Uh, things for warranty as well as uh, if you want to get some money off you've got that there as well so uh, there's the little little code right there and there so the same in both yeah it's the same in both so uh, there you go if you guys want to get a little little cash off there's uh, the the thing there so you can maybe get a little little discount on your first purchase uh, but uh, so we come with, both of them come with USBs. Let's see, we've got uh, USB-B for a longer cable and USB-B for the short cable. So both of these are USB-B micro, I should say. Uh, and then this is also USB-B micro. Uh, so they use the, uh, the traditional B micro size to do their charging. Uh, they, of course, have their little stretch bands here um, to wrap around the seat posts, the handlebars, etc. You have your pull tab that's going to pull it tight. Uh, use your initial link and then you take and wrap it around and hook it onto whichever one of these is going to keep it in place the way you need it. Uh, little heavier ones for the bigger pieces and smaller ones for the smaller pieces. So pretty straightforward there. Uh, not too bad. We've got uh, a couple of different kinds of tail lights. We'll check that out here in a second. Uh, this one actually has a separate piece there. So let's go ahead and get the charging stuff out of the way. That's pretty straightforward. Boxes out of the way and the cards out of the way. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look. So we've got, um, well, we've got three here. And uh, now there are no actual instructions for how to put this together. Uh, just so you understand that uh, you're just gonna kind of have to look at it and sort of figure it out for yourself a little bit, I guess. For this one right here, you can see the radius on the bottom. I'm gonna assume that the heavier one is for the bigger piece. So I'm gonna sit here, I would take and hook it in. I would wrap it around, say the handlebars, and then I would hook it in on the other side uh, to this. I might do it the other way around though, do the, uh, do the front first and then do the back because it looks like it has more room in the back. Got it in there, wrap it around the handlebar and uh, let's say I need to pull it a little tighter. 
I won't go with the radial part, I'll go with the first loop there. And now it's holding on to the handlebars um, or whatever cross section that you want to mount it to. So uh, there you go. And then the piece here, the uh, tail light here, is going to be similar, I guess. We have, uh, oh, here we go. Now, what they did was because this doesn't have a radius piece, they just put this flat clip on. You can put the clip in here. Let's see, how's it go in? Yeah, there we go. So the clip snaps in uh, onto that. And this is, this is on an angle. So uh, since it's going to be on the seat post, you can see this is, this is horizontal now, but this is on an angle. And your seat post generally slants backwards, so that's perfect. We'll slide it in from the top here and get that down into place. There we go. So then that kind of snaps into place there. Now we can sit there. If you have a larger seat post or a smaller seat post and there you go. So that's your, that's your connections to hook it up on the seat posts. And uh, that's, that's pretty standard with uh, some of this stuff that I've been seeing. Um, is having these stretch bands like this. Um, I like the fact that they have some various sizes. Uh, that's pretty nice. So, and then we've got the same thing. The shark is using the same thing. We've got, um, well, we've got moldables. So, and we've got uh, slightly bigger pieces. Uh, so we can use this one. We could probably even use this one for it. Doesn't, I don't know that it really matters. But again, I would probably put, it looks like, yeah, the front is hooked straight over but the back has kind of a a lipped up section so it's easier to push in and out i believe the tail light on this one is just a simple round one instead of a flat one like that so it's got the two little hooks uh, this here you can see this one's a deeper hook so this is where i would believe you would start you'd put your first piece on there first i uh, get that side snapped in there kind of permanently and then the other side is the one that you just cinch it tight kind of thing and pull it across as you need to, depending on how tight it needs to be. So there we go. Uh, good, good ways to fasten them, um, makes them convenient to pull them uh, on and off uh, because obviously these are USB rechargeable. So you want to make sure that you can do your charging. So on uh, the Shark 500, we've got it straight here on the back. There is your connection right there. Uh, so that's not too bad. Uh, now this is, made, uh, this is made out of a plastic, it has a plastic shell. Uh, I'm sure that is for, um, you know, weather resistance and whatnot. Uh, and, uh, you know, some of them, they have the different makeups, aluminums, plastics, and everything else. Now this does, it doesn't feel like cheap plastic. Uh, so I wouldn't think that, you know, it's going to sit there and fall apart quickly or anything like that just because it is plastic. Um, I think that, uh, I think that would be just fine for this, especially using it as a bicycle light. Uh, and then we've got the back piece here. This is actually a, an aluminum cylinder that this is, and it has the connection right there at the back end. So you just pop that uh, little opening out and you can charge it that way. Uh, and then it's got the little cover here for the lens. Uh, so that way it kind of keeps it nice and clean and uh, whatnot. And then we've got the other one here. Well, you, they even have their little emblem on this one and there's your little push button to start it. And the USB connection is down here at the bottom. So you just uh, plug it in there to to charge it, of course. And then we've got with this one, we've got, well, we've got lots of coverage. You've got the nice shiny sides, um, makes it look very nice and clean and sleek. Uh, and then the actual charging is on the underside here. And you can see that right there. All right, guys. So, um, I took a break there for a little bit. I had to uh, charge these a little, um, they, uh, they didn't have enough charge to, to really show us what the lights were capable of. So now I've got some power into them so we can take a look. Uh, so again, uh, this one has the two lights there, uh, and power button on top. 
So we've got a single press and uh, that's actually kind of cool. It, it doesn't like snap on, it like kind of uh, wakes up in a sense, you know, from, uh, from a dim to a brighter, but that looks like to be the brightest setting. And then you've got a dimmer setting and then an even dimmer setting. So a high, medium and low. And then we've got a flash and then a pulsate, which is actually kind of cool. I haven't seen that before. And then we're back to the bright again. So you have those five settings. So high, medium, low, uh, flashing, and then the uh, pulsating. So, and then you hold it. Yeah, hold it and it shuts off. So there's for the small one. And let's see for the charged. Hopefully this is charged up enough for the rear and little button is right there on the back. There we go. All right. It was more like a, yeah. So hopefully we got you that flash warning up, letting you know that's what this was going to do. So first one is a little bit faster flash than a slower flash. Then an alternating uh, between the three. There's three LEDs is what it looks like inside here. And then a different, slightly different speed of alternating. And then we've got a solid on, as you can see, three LEDs. And then back to the flash again. So one, two, three, four, and five different positions. And then I believe we hold it. Yep, hold it to hold it off or to turn it off. Uh, so we'll go to this other one, the Shark 500 version. And we've got the little round light instead of the, instead of the uh, rectangular one with the, the three LEDs. This is, um, I don't know if it's just gonna be a single one or if there's multiples in there, but on this one, there is no other button or anything. Uh, it seems that I think it's, yeah, it seems to be the thing here. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Slow pulsate and it's pressing the actual face there. Press it again. We've got a solid on. So there's two. Press it again. There's a relative, a reasonable flash. Three, faster flash, four, and then we're back to the, uh, the pulsing. So we've got four different modes and then hold it. Yep, hold it and it's off. So there is your rear light with uh, its different settings there. And then the Shark 500 itself. So we've got the nice big button on top actually looks a lot like a regular flashlight that you could hold in your hand and it would actually be pretty comfortable finger finger hold almost already right there so you could take this off of the bike that's the nice thing about these make some quick release so if you needed to uh, if it was nighttime and you uh, park your bike lock it up or whatever and then you can pop this off and you have a light to use to uh, uh, to see wherever you're going to get to the building or something like that. Uh, let's see, so we got is it just on. So the top of it does light up with the, with the bluish and then it has that slow on feature. And there is high, oop, uh-oh. Looks like we may need to charge this one up a little bit too, because it turned red. Um, I'm thinking that flash is letting you know that it's low on battery. So we've got a high, got is that a did that go to a medium maybe there we go and then a strobe and then the pulsate pulsate on this one isn't as big of a difference as the smaller one um, which may not be a bad idea um, that way you're not losing your light if you're using this to see with while you're riding as well and then take and hold it and shuts off so there we go. So 
five settings um, for the main pieces and like four for the uh, the tail pieces it seems like uh, so I, I'm gonna go ahead and try and charge these up just a little bit more but we are gonna see what this looks like at night all right everybody well as you can see it's dark um, there are a handful of little street lights in the area that I'm at I'm, I'm at uh, the local park where you've seen some stuff before if you've seen other videos um, obviously it is not this pitch black that it shows but uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what this looks like um, if we were riding the bike um, i have not gotten the bike out it is still too cold for that uh, so here we go this is the night owl and uh, go ahead and light that up and uh, you can see it's doing the flashing thing there's the on so this is how bright it is now obviously this is focused when you see it in um, the camera but uh, in reality it is um, lighting up a bigger area um, only slightly though uh, but it is fairly this is a fairly accurate representation uh, so let's see you can see we've got parking spaces here and these parking spaces are what, roughly about 10 feet across, um, give or take. Uh, let's see, and eh, we'll give them we'll give them 12 feet across because they're they're done on an angle. So we're gonna start at this one spot here. I'm gonna stand right here at this one, and uh, we're gonna go. Let's see, we see one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so let's see one two three four five and then it kind of fades out a little bit let's see so look again one two three four you can see five in the camera I can actually see it going out to six and then you can even see um, see how that's lighting up up there that is a little pavilion um, that is actually probably about 40 35, 40, probably around 40 yards away from me. It's where that pavilion is. And uh, you can see the reflective lights or the reflective signs, I should say. Those, uh, those light up all right, but it's actually lighting the pavilion up here. So uh, unfortunately the camera does not do it quite as much justice, but it does do rather well. Uh, so there's on the lower setting as we hit it. And there's on the even lower setting again, um, that looks like it's lighting up a very small area. I am comfortably lighting up two of these parking spaces with this, not just maybe one and a half that you're seeing. Um, I can actually see out to the third one without a problem. So there is the night owl. That is the smaller of the two with the two uh, with the uh, actual double beam. And uh, let's go ahead and shut that one off and grab the next one. The next one is the Shark 500. Go ahead and turn that one on. And there we go. And uh, just to show you, the light does turn on blue. I think you saw that before. Um, now, as you can see, this one's considerably brighter. Um, you can see, yeah, see, now you're seeing the pavilion a lot more clearly with this one. Um, the way you can see the pavilion in this at least according to me looking through the uh, screen here. Um, that is almost how you could see it with the night owl. So if you translate that kind of thought, okay, that's how much brighter this is. Uh, this is shining a good ways away. This is, this is easily, um, you would easily be able to see, I think probably 50 to 60 yards with this without without any issue at all. Um, it's lighting up very well. It's lighting up the whole width. So we've got this distance from here all the way over to here, a little median section. Um, it is lighting it up from, well, as you can see that basically cut off point where the bottom of the, the bottom of the, uh, the unit or the lens area starts and it lights it up all the way across actually in the way I see it even though it does look like it cuts it off in the, uh, the screen here so uh, let's go ahead there's the next dimmer one and then the low setting and this is showing you what maybe 
three parking spaces. So it looks like you might be able to see that fourth one. Uh, I can easily see one, two, three, four, five. I can actually see into the sixth parking space um, as compared to compared to this. And that's if I start it clear where it, it cuts off. You can barely see it right now. But it's actually starting at this edge line of the first parking space in front of me and going out and I can see about six spaces up and this is on dim so uh, there we go and now let's take a look at what those little uh, red ones look like uh, at night so we're gonna take it and I'm just gonna set it here on my car so we've got uh, the first one is gonna be the little round one that comes with the shark light you press the front of it and see if I can remember how I did that before. If it's a double press, there we go, double press. Okay, yeah, so pretty bright just like that. Um, and we're just gonna do the straight on. Now, from here, I'm at the edge of a parking space. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go ahead here and stop at five. So at roughly five parking spaces, I'm looking at around 60 feet, um, give or take uh, a foot or two. And you can still see that now of course camera everything else it is a little bit brighter than it shows up on screen um, I mean I can see my car much more clearly in re real life than I can on here so that is lighting up rather well people when you're riding down the road at night should be able to see you pretty well so now this is the one that comes with the night owl this is the little rectangular one with the like the three LEDs that we saw. I will go ahead and pop that one on. Okay. So there we got it. And wow, this one really seems to be throwing it. So I'm standing here. I am about three feet away from it is roughly how far it is. It does seem to light up really well. I think the three LEDs uh, are doing well. We are... Okay, there we go. We just hit one and five. So, um, in my opinion, this one actually is a little bit better, a little bit brighter. Um, so, now again, this is the rectangular one, and it showed, like, I could see three LEDs in it when I, um, when I lit it up before, and I'm sure when we lit it up on the screen before, I'm sure you could see that there might be three of them. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is again, I'm looking at about 60 feet, um, so that's about 30 yards, um, or yeah, sorry, 20 yards, uh, math. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, so about, about 20 yards from where we're at right now, and, and it's shining that brightly. All right, everybody, so uh, like I said, this is, uh, these were by Cycle Torch. Uh, thank you again to them for... Uh, sending these to me and allowing me to check them out and everything that is appreciated uh, if you do want to check these out they are down there again on the or in the description uh, the links to the Amazon page that uh, that they have to carry these is there uh, of course also while you're down there there is the social media that's down there there's that PayPal link to help out the channel for uh, uh, you know for uh, getting other things as well uh, when we don't have companies that uh, do this and uh, there's also that thumbs up button that subscribe button and that uh, little bell icon you ring that bell so you know when I've got new videos coming out here on world of me all right well thank you to cycle torch for uh, letting me demo their products here and uh, thank you to all you for watching uh, this is the world of me another episode from the well the Amazon review series and uh, my name's Cougar I'd like to wish you all a good day and I will see you later bye